Money coming, money go. I've been at it. I've been at it on the low. Dropping out of where I live. I keep seeing the leaders doing less. We talking plans and maybe seeing you. Pull up on you, let me school. Nobody here but me and you. Got a little ring to it, turn that thing fluid in the coop. Why you look, I know it's real. I'm on my Marshawn shit. I've been really getting a feel. You know why I'm here, don't act like you don't know how I feel. But let me tell you what you mean to me. Slide on me for that mean greet. Vibe with me in the moonshine, sipping moonshine to the new sky. Taste toasted and be race soak in the raincoat. Hit the waist quota, I be flossing. I be locked in. I was lost here. All that turned me to a target. Spotting on me, I be cautious. Back then I was an adolescent, then I had a lesson. I'm the man now. I got fans now. I'm on cam now. I got plans now. I'm finna branch out. Grip quick, but never let go of this here. All of that bullshit is in my reach. So let's start with the unboxing and of course you see the beginning at this video this unboxing video is all about a new Bulova watch uh, Bulova moon watch but let's do it like if you want to know what is in the box okay so I just removed the outer white paper coverage and now here is the outer paper box the real outer paper box gray this is paper but really nicely done like a luxury timepiece we used to get with here is a nice Bulova sign with golden paintings let's remove it ah, it's not easy to remove as to see ah, and here we go we will get back to this futurist thing later with the inning part inside we find a nice ledger covered wooden box that's cool and also really high-end and luxury so it's a great thing from Lula and of course we see the Bulova logo this is the symbol of the sound fork I hope I pronounce it well in English because you know Bulova watch at least in one way was or became famous of uh, their famous sound fault movement quartz movement so let's remove this box inside we find some instructions a Bulova card of course a warranty card authenticate authenticate certificate something like that not too much if you ask me but maybe it's enough and then here is the box and we now see the name of the motor Luna Pilot 50th anniversary we will talk about it later as you see this is really a great quality this is a stainless steel part there nice gray and this gray with this golden element uh, looks nice and really looks elegant and luxury if you ask me and inside this is how it opens you see also the opening is really luxury and inside we find a watch we find this cool Bulova, I don't know, addition something, and we have got here a coin with the name of Apollo 15 and with some nice little spaceman or astronaut. There is a little element of the moon. It tells about this is a limited edition. This is telling the story about the 1971 August 2 and now let's get to this or get over this fact I guess you all know about this Bulova watches are one of maybe a few but not too few because lots of watches were in space yeah Seiko, Zin, Omega of course but one of those views who actually made to the moon so the Bulova watch is I had to read more about this but I think only the Omega Speedmaster and Bulova 
and maybe Seiko was born on the moon surface. But what is true, Omega was the first, of course, and this Bulova with the Apollo 15 mission also landed and walked the surface of the moon. So this is very cool. This is a very nice coin. We can say that with these logo symbols and with these, it's some kind of bra or bronze and hand engraved or at least engraved and very nice texture of the moon. I like it a lot. That's cool. And of course, if you see the box, you will have get a nice map of the moon and that part where the Bulova watch in 1971 landed and walked the surface. You see, there was the Apollo 15 base. And this is an actual picture made from the Apollo spacecraft. I think that's cool. Remove the watch. It's very well uh, restricted, so not easy to remove anything from this box. And that's cool because during the shipping, when you order it, it won't harm. You see, this watch is actually a virgin, so I haven't removed it from the box. Not even started. The watch has got a quartz movement, of course. The we can say the famous Bulova quartz movement in the ultra high frequency of frequency. Oh, how the hell you should pronounce it in English? This is ticking on the 262 kilohertz, maybe in English. I know these words better in Hungarian, trust me. And you see it's not running yet. I will start it soon. The case is a 45 millimeter wide diameter. That sounds big, but a lot of people likes big watches, if you ask me. And this is made of grade 5 titanium with some nice I guess this is some PVD coating and this is a uh, highly scratch resistant and it has got some kind of uh, sandblasted texture. Uh, it's hard to find any information about it, uh, not even on the Omega webpage and not in the online reviews, maybe because Omega not provided this, but by my experience in watchmaking this had to be some or it, this is a PVD or or DSC coating or some special texture for surface used to use with titanium and you see the golden parties and elements those are not really gold of course the watch we have got here this sticker it will tell you the watch is uh, 1295 dollars so this is not cheap but uh, not really too expensive so what is sure for this money you want except fuck that word so you won't <laughs> won't get gold and pieces, uh, golden elements, uh, for example, an 18 carat solid gold. So this is a PVD coating, get to the point, but uh, I guess that's okay. We have got the two pushers with the chronograph, we have got the crown, but of course not a binding crown, because this watch not used to be wind. This is a quartz movement working with uh, battery and yeah i've got here a nice nato like uh, strap these kind of straps by the way were used to worn in the 1970s especially with pilots because it was it, these kind of straps was uh, much wider longer 
so they can fit the watch to the to the astronaut suit or to the pilot suit what the pilots wore on the airplanes or on the spacecraft or anything else so that is the reason of these kind of steps of course this is a modern version uh, what you can easily fit and wear on your uh, wrist and the watch is big but thanks to the titanium case it's really it feels about 90 or 100 grams not, not too much i have got this little an old <laughs> citizen got from the same uh, seller dealer from canada uh, the bijou futurist from canada i will put them into the uh, text under this video and uh, they yeah, yes they has the same same weight i could measure it of course more specifically but uh, my uh, i don't know the word the thing what what uh, measures weight <laughs> uh, just uh, go wrong today so i had to measure it by my by my feeling but this piece in my this citizen is about uh, 82 grams and this one feels lighter so this is this is maybe less than uh, 80 grams what is really cool and the watch is big much bigger than this because you see this is a 42 millimeter wide at case okay it has got a titanium bracelet of course too but you see the point so the watch is really really lightweight and to remove the sticker and remove the watch bring it a little closer so you see the dial is also gray but a little bit brown if you ask me in these light conditions i don't know if through the camera this is possible to capture but it has got a little brown touch not just gray a gray and between gray and between brown if you ask me but it looks very cool with these golden second dials or sub dials and of course we have got this is a chronograph movement okay we have got here i guess this one at the six hour position is the running second here is the sub dial for the 60 minutes and i guess at three o'clock we have got a 12 hour chronograph disc so that's cool and the big second hand at the center made of not gold but at least uh, colored to gold with pvd is the second hand of the chronograph so let's start the watch we have to remove this little thing not too easy but here we go and if we push back because it has got a split second now you see the second hand there moving and now ah so i was totally wrong because here so that was strange for me the running second here uh, wasn't uh, floating like we used to get with the boulevard so this must be that's the problem when you cannot find a accurate review or text about the watch on the web page so this was some I don't really know what is this this is some kind of maybe a 10 second counter or what the, what the hell <laughs> because you see the the big hand is connected to the chronograph this is the second hand and this is a uh, something else maybe this one counts one or two seconds 
let's try it okay as you see when I reset the watch but these movement is fly back so let's check this sub dial at the three hours and see what is done okay so that one counts one second as I see and also the big uh, second hand counts seconds too so this is some kind of additional sub second counter and the running second is here at six o'clock and the chronograph is only 60 minutes so a one hour chronograph we got here strange I don't know the use of this or what is good for but I see at least I see and this is funny when you push the stop and reset button sorry the reset button because this is the start and stop button and let's try if it is a flyback and yes you see this is some kind of flyback but not so when you stop it and reset it we'll stop it so not a classic flyback but when you just started the chronograph and started to run and you push this this button it will stop the chronograph and reset but not restart so this is the start and stop and start and stop I said stop button and this is the reset button also stop button interesting and the second hand is slow somehow so it's not floating interesting interesting maybe this is uh, connected to the 50 years old models maybe the exact one that was worn on the moon surface the pilot name was Dave Scott who wore his Bulova chronograph during the lunar mission in 1971 <laughs> there is a strange story here he worn his his official Omega Speedmaster during the mission but the glass, the crystal of the Omega Speedmaster was just uh, popped up from the watch case <laughs> this is funny Omega and then he just strapped on his wrist his personal Bulova chronograph watch his own watch that was his own choice <laughs> And this is how Omega made it to the moon, thanks to a uh, mistake of an Omega Speedmaster. Oh, what a, what, a, what a pain in the ass for the Omega, I guess. And this is funny day, how over not talking this. <laughs> funny. Okay, and another fun fact or, or a cool fact, the exact blue watch, what was worn by David Scott or Dave Scott or Davis Scott on the moon was sold in 2015 and uh, for a crazy price 1 million and 622 so nearly or over one and a half million dollars in 2006 uh, yeah 15 this is fucking ridiculous if you ask me crazy crazy over one and a half million dollar for a bullet watch <laughs> but with this cool story i can understand so this is how it works and when you pull out the crown okay so if you pull out once nothing happens and if you pull out twice you can manipulate the hands as you see the hands are cool highly loomed and this is how it works and the floating second some kind of feature is here in that one per ten seconds counter and when you reset it this moves like jagger <laughs> this is very cool so if we just remove the strap in this way i can present you the cool case back of the watch that is very nice if you ask me Ah, uh, there is a then there is a sticker on there that tells you 
this is a Japanese movement, but Bulova used to be a United States brand in the old times, of course. This is not belong to there anymore. But, mm, you know, it would be more fun with the brand. How oh, the, oh, the hell you can remove this without scratching? Okay, I could do. So back, get back to the point, here is the nice, very nice case back. It also tells about the Apollo 15, the 50th anniversary Luna pilot thing. The watch is limited, of course, I haven't mentioned that. It is limited to 5000 pieces and this one is the 1690. So if you were born in 1690, <laughs> This watch should be yours, but I guess if you were born at that time and you were not a vampire, now you are not really able to listen or watch this video. And it tells about Zafair class. This is a 50 meter water assistant, like most of the pilot watches, so not really water assistant. And this is all, and this is look cool if you ask me. And let's try one. Or two more things. One is the wrist check, so how the watch looks on my wrist, and the other is the loom of the watch because, of course, it should have some strong loom. This is how I can fit it definitely easily. Damn, it looks so cool! But this is huge, this is absolutely huge, and I'm sure this watch will be seen from the moon too, if you are wearing it outside. Yeah, I'm funny, but not that funny to start a channel on YouTube with this. <laughs> so yes, this is it, this is how it looks. I guess even if this strap was made in China, what the strickers telling me, what a shame, but it feels very cool and I like to wear it and the watch is absolutely comfortable and it looks big, it feels big. I hate NATO straps, I must tell, I really hate them. This is not a real NATO but some kind of NATO, okay. But this one is cool, this is a variable, variable thing if you ask me. Because the, so the reason why I hate uh, so I don't really like watches on straps, and I prefer bracelets or you you see uh, those or, or maybe rubber straps because they are just turning around accidentally on your wrist, and this is okay when it's summer or it, the weather is warm and you don't need to wear any fucking coat or anything like that. But when you wear a coat, jacket. And that we are there, and you are driving or something. The watch will, you see, now it's how the hell. Not even John Wick could read this watch because John Wick, you know, wear the watch like this. Now I'm John Wick 5. So this is it. And I don't know if you know that rumors uh, Keanu bought a Rolex watch uh, for all the stunts he used in John Wick 4. So that's cool and and make me think about being a stun and wanna be uh, roll with Keanu Reeves and of course just because to get a free Rolex stainless steel model and I don't know if Keanu Reeves got those uh, Rolexes on retail price but if yes please Keanu help me with that <laughs> so. This is my funny part, and this is the watch, and now let's get to the loom game. Here we go, not even dark here, not really dark, but now you see the loom. And if we make it much more darker, you see how nicely loomed. You see the hands, of course you see the index is not over loomed. But strong enough, if you ask me.
So this is how this boulevard looks like and works like and moves and we have got here a nice sub-second counter I don't know how to tell it in English this is cool I like it and for this money this is really a nice collector piece and a cool watch maybe this collector piece thing with the boulevard is, is not really a not a real thing <laughs> I guess in my in my mind but who knows who knows but the two uh, sorry five thousand pieces is not that limited not that so many this is like uh, Seiko way you know they are creating five thousand nine thousand limited pieces from the shitty Seiko five oh damn no that's not limited brothers just a marketing thing but uh, on its own right this boulevard watch is very cool and as a limited edition of fuck that so that's a Luna pilot this is a, this is nice this is a nice watch I would wear it daily for real and hope the titanium case is not really a scratchy but thing very great to wear this it would be better with the 12 hours uh, chronograph counter because it's useful uh, 60 second or 60 minutes is okay but with the uh, rotating bezel you can count it okay but uh, hmm, that's nice and I see this is authentic and vintage and connect on the the uh, actual moon watch what was accidentally worn on the moon 50 years ago but uh, yeah I like it and I I just suggest it to get if you wanna get it and getting down to this point this futurist and this 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 nice Rami guy we can say he's a friend of mine now <laughs> he said thank you duck <laughs> so he could help you get one you see even even from Canada to Hungary he could manage for me to get this watch because in Europe this watch is not accept, uh, not uh, reachable how to say that so it, it is I guess it is not the USA uh, limited specific model just will or not uh, bring this watch to the European uh, countries maybe because he so the Bulova things won't be enough uh, buyers in Europe or maybe I don't really know why they create uh, country specific models or not bringing and the citizen does the same and uh, there are some Seiko models what is uh, Japanese specific or US specific but Bulova citizen so citizen group is is definitely some kind of uh, this this player and I don't know why you should bring your limited or more interesting pieces to Europe not just the the you know steel water pieces so thank you for watching and see you later my friends